Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I honestly have been craving a lip swatch video of some sort. I was kind of holding out for another lip collection to arrive in PR. It hasn't showed up yet. Maybe I'll still do a lip swatch video when that collection comes, but in the meantime, I have been seeing these Milani lipsticks on TikTok and they look perfect for fall and I want to give credit where credit is due. I did a little bit of digging and I'm pretty sure it was the beauty radar over on TikTok that made this lipstick go viral. Apparently it's selling out everywhere. However, I saw it on Walmart's website and then it said it was available at my local Walmart. So bless my sweet husband, he drove all the way to Walmart and picked up all of the shades, they were all in stock. He said there was like a lady loading and like restocking these lipsticks as he was there, like taking it fresh out of the box. So I'm really glad I was able to get my hands on it easily because you guys probably know how TikTok is. It's a gamble when things go viral they're out of stock for forever. So usually if I'm a little bit late to the game, if something goes viral and I wanna try it, I have to wait like three months for it to come back in stock. So anyway, super excited that these are back in stock. The lipsticks I'm talking about are these right here. There are actually six different shades. Let me show you the packaging, it's to die for. Here it is right here. These are matte lipsticks. They look perfect for fall. I think that's why they're going viral right now is because I personally love fall makeup and lipsticks, especially in fall, are like my favorite thing to wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and read a little bit about this formula and then we're gonna swatch all of them. So this is the Color Fetish Matte Lipstick. On Milani's website, it retails for $8.99, but you guys probably know with drugstore makeup that can vary depending on the retailer. It comes in six shades. It says it's an ultra creamy pigment rich lipstick with a range of nudes designed to complement every skin tone. It has a luxurious soft velvet matte finish and it's a high comfort lipstick that glides seamlessly onto lips for full coverage. It's a long wearing formula that helps keep the lips smooth and soft with moisturizing hyaluronic acid. I'm a huge fan of so many of Milani's lip products, so I'm super excited to try this. So yeah, I'm gonna be swatching all six shades. I'm gonna start off with the lightest shade. I think this is the lightest shade. Let me double check that. There's two that are kind of similar. Mm, okay, I think this one's actually the lightest, so let's try this one first. This is called Pleasure. I'm not gonna wear any lip liner right now because I want you to see the entire lips covered in this lipstick and then at the end I'll try to create like a lip look with my favorite shades. So let's go ahead and apply this all over. Okay, so this is so interesting. This is actually applying more warm toned than it looks in the bottle. Do you see that? They feel super velvety. I personally like to apply lip colors like this with my finger after applying it directly on the lips with the bullet. I love to blur the edges with a formula like this. Okay, so this is the shade Pleasure. So far it feels really comfortable on the lips. I love a more like moussey velvet texture that I can blend out with my fingertips and kind of blur. This is a lot lighter than I prefer personally for my skin tone. I just feel like sometimes I get washed out. However, I love using colors like this to lighten up the center. That's how I use these types of shades and I'm not wearing a lip liner so there's nothing to really ground the edges but it's a really flattering undertone. It's got almost like a peachy, undertone to it, which is actually really flattering. It's a little more on the warm tone side, which I really like. All right, I just removed that color. Next, we're gonna go into the shade Tease, which is also a lighter nude color. This one looks a little bit more muted and almost a little more cool toned than that first one. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so here is the shade Tease on the lips. By the way, for reference, when it comes to my skin tone and undertone, I usually gravitate toward foundations described as fair to light with a neutral undertone. I make sure to say that because lipsticks will look different on every tone and undertone depending on what your tone and undertone is. So just for reference, I wanted to let you guys know that that is what I'm working with so that you can kind of Keep that in mind as I'm trying on these lipsticks. This one is really, really pretty. I definitely personally would still wear a lip liner to ground the edges of this, but I really like this one a little bit more than the first one I feel like for me because it does have a little more of that like brown tone to it where the other one was a little more peachy. This one's pretty. I think this would be gorgeous with a lip liner around the edges. A while back, I think it was last year, I actually did a video where I tried out your favorite fall lipsticks. I will have that linked down below. Let me know if you'd like to do an updated version of that. I don't know. I wasn't sure if I should do an updated one because maybe, you know, your fall lipsticks are the same. 
as last year. So let me know in the comments if you wanna see another one of those. There's actually kind of like a random pink tone in this kind of nudes collection. This is the one I'm gonna try next. It's the shade Secret. This looks really pretty. Wow, this one matches quite a bit of my natural lip color. I like how cushiony this is feeling on the lips. Ooh, I like this one. Definitely one that could take you throughout the entire year, in my opinion, if you're into a little bit more of a pink undertone. This is super pretty. I could see myself wearing this in the spring and summer. Um, it's not as fall as I normally go for. Like in fall, I reach for a little bit more deeper tones, a little more grungy tones. This one's a bit more fresh, but I love that for every day. It does have that nice matte formula if that's what you're into for fall. So this would be great for somebody who likes a more matte formula, but maybe you're not into the more cool toned browns and you still wanna keep things pink and fresh, this is really gorgeous. Imagine this with like a deeper, rosy toned lip liner. This might be my favorite one so far. So gorgeous. Next up, we're gonna try the shade Passion. This looks really pretty. Wow, this is like your kind of mauve cool toned, purpley nude. Okay, wait a minute. It's so crazy how like it goes on almost a different color than it looks on the outside. Do you see that? It goes on a little bit deeper than it looks. So this is actually more of like a terracotta rose. Now with these deeper shades, I definitely would for sure wear like a lip liner with them. But I'm just trying to give you the full effect here. Ooh, that's actually really, really pretty. It's got kind of like a moodiness to it. It's still kind of fresh, but also muted at the same time. I really like that. You know how sometimes lipsticks in these tones tend to pull more terracotta? This has a really, really beautiful Neutral to cool undertone. I think it's a very special color. I'm not sure if I own anything quite like this. I mean, I probably do. I have way too many lipsticks, but if I do, I don't remember what it is because this is a really nice, really special lipstick. I think this is one that could be a go-to for me in fall. Still neutral, but a little bit more bold, which is what I personally look for for an everyday fall lipstick anyway. Wow, I really like that one. Already I'm like dying to layer some of them because I feel like that color with one of the lighter colors tapped in the middle would be so beautiful. We'll get to that in a minute. I feel like I should definitely try out the last two shades first. So next up we're gonna go into Desire and this is more, I mean, honestly, I can't really describe the color till I put it on based off of the last few. Here's the shade Desire. Let's try this one on. Okay, this is pretty. So where the last one had a little bit more pink or red in it. This almost has a little bit more yellow and brown. I love how these are blending out, by the way. Okay, so there we have it. This is Desire. This one is like a classic fall color, in my opinion. It kind of has that chestnut undertone to it, which I really like. So if you're into a little bit more of those slightly warmer toned, but like muted, somewhat bold lip colors, I think you would like this one. Do you like how I'm trying to describe all these lipstick colors with strange words to try to get the feeling across for each of these. That one's really nice. We have one more to go, and it's this one right here, the deepest shade in the whole line. It's called Sensual. It's a really nice, rich brown. Let's go ahead and try this out. Again, for me, I really would need a lip liner for this since it is so bold on me, but I'm just trying to show you guys. So excuse the messy lip lines. Wait, that's actually gorgeous. It's interesting because I feel like this happens to me every time I do a lip swatch video. Normally like dark browns aren't my first choice when looking at like swatches or you know a product on the shelf because I just in my head or like subconsciously I feel like other shades would flatter me more. But there's a time and a place for a good rich brown lipstick and fall is the time and place if you're gonna do it. This is really, really beautiful, really flattering. Again, keep in mind that this is gonna look different on me versus somebody else. So for me, since I do have super fair skin, it's a pretty bold lip. Somebody with medium to deep skin tones, it's gonna look a little bit more neutral and a little softer, but regardless, this is a beautiful tone and undertone. Super, super pretty for fall. This is fun. I just, I'm obsessed with lipsticks. I think it's my favorite step in makeup. I think it's one of the things that makes the biggest difference in the overall vibe of your look. So you can never have too many lipsticks in my opinion. Okay, let's go ahead and do a little bit of like a lip look with this. 
I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine, and I'm gonna line the lips with this. Okay, we're gonna try something. I don't really know if this lip liner was the best choice for this lipstick, but it'll work. So I'm putting on a little bit of the shade Passion, and I'm just blending that into the lip liner, and then I wanna do one of the lighter shades in the center. So let's see here. Um, Tease is more of that warm tone. Then we have Pleasure, which is a little bit more of that pink. I think I'm gonna try this one out. Just layer that up in the center like that. And then I love to take my finger to tap and blend when I do this for the most seamless, natural finish and also like blend between the two colors. I think that's so pretty. I kind of want to add a little bit of a deeper lip liner just to really capture the whole fall vibe, you know? Okay, I found the shade 90210 from Persona Cosmetics. I'm kind of coloring over those edges. I'm just going back in with my finger to make sure everything's blended. There we go. I think that's super pretty to do a lip liner that's like a couple shades darker than the lipstick. That way it kind of creates that more sharp edge and a little bit more of like a 90s feel, which is what I personally look for right now when it comes to fall lips. So really love that combo, that layering. These feel super comfortable on the lips. I'm definitely really excited to keep wearing them and trying them out. Let me swatch them for you on the arms now so that you can kind of see what they look like side by side. Again, they do kind of come off a little bit deeper once swatched versus like the outer edge of the lipstick. So just something to keep in mind. These feel so luxurious as well. And the packaging is stunning. Like imagine if you were to buy a couple of these like and just display them on your vanity. It's really beautiful packaging. Okay, I'm not the best swatcher. My lines aren't even, they're pretty sloppy, but that's all right. At least we'll be able to get a good feel for the colors. Okay, so I've got them swatched. Again, they're not the cutest, but at least we can get a good feel for it. So we have Pleasure, Tease, and Secret first. And then I actually swatched these on the arms out of order from when I swatched it on my lips. So this one is Desire, this one is Passion, and this is Sensual. Super pretty for fall and honestly like year round as well. I feel like these are sort of new. I think they launched in the summertime if I did my research correctly, but I mean, they've kind of gone viral now and it makes sense because they do feel very fall inspired somehow. You could obviously use these all year round. I have to say my favorite shades are probably Passion and Secret. I really loved Secret, which is kind of like ironic because it wasn't the most fall shade. It's a little bit more pink, but this one is stunning. Passion is the one that I have on right now. It's a little bit more of that rosy toned color, which is beautiful. And then I did really like the shade Pleasure. I just think, again, it's not something that I would wear all over by itself. It's something I would use to brighten up the center. So those would probably be my top three, which is like kind of funny because they're all the more pink tones. So maybe that's what I feel like personally is a little more flattering. At least right now with a little less face makeup on, sometimes the pink tones kind of wake up my complexion where if I were to use more muted brown tones and had a little bit more sculpting on the face, it would work a little better. Um, but yeah, those are my top three shades. I would love to hear in the comments if you guys had a shade that you liked the best. Let me know if you guys are interested in these lipsticks. Have you picked them up yet? What are your favorite shades from the collection? I would love to know in the comments down below. They feel really comfortable on the lips. I will be sure to leave a note in the description box letting you know how they wore for the rest of the day on me. But these are like some of my favorite types of formulas when it comes to lipsticks for fall. I like having like that matte lip look, but not so much a liquid lipstick, super drying matte look anymore, unless it's like a specific liquid lipstick formula. So I'm super into these kind of velvety, moussey shades that I can blur out with my fingers. I really love those kinds of things for fall because it doesn't make your lips feel like completely sucked dry of moisture, but also you still get that really nice 
blurred velvety effect, which I personally love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just had to try out these lipsticks. I was so curious. So hopefully it was helpful to any of you guys who are wondering what the shades look like. And if you were interested in picking a couple up yourself, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.